Put on your gun. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, back with another bite-sized nugget of technical insight from a member of the Oracle community. Today's two-minute tipster is Oracle Ace Director Lonica Diekmans. Lonica is an enterprise architect and a managing partner at eProceed based in the Netherlands. Lonica's two minutes starts now. The Internet of Things is all the buzz in the consumer space. The idea of everything being connected is here to stay. This will become more and more true for the enterprise as well. This means that apart from programming traditional systems that people will access from their laptop, iPad or phone, you, as a programmer, also need to get data from and to devices and use these in your enterprise application. To do this, you need to program an IoT app. A nice place to start is with the Raspberry Pi, a small and expensive device that you can connect with sensors. Now, as a programmer, you might think, oh no, not another language to learn. But luckily, there are several options for programming it. First of all, it comes with a number of pre-installed languages, Python, C, C++, Java, Scratch, and Ruby. The Raspberry Pi Foundation recommends Python for learning or Scratch for young kids. However, any language that will compile for ARM version 6 can be used. A considerable number of programming languages have been adapted for the Raspberry Pi, either by the creator of the language or by users of the language. We wanted to see this uh, choice available on the Raspberry Pi. Examples are HTML5, JavaScript, jQuery, Perl and Erlang. And of course, there's a whole other ecosystem out there as well, the Windows community. The Raspberry Pi version 2 can run Windows 10. There's a website that you can find here. It was quite difficult to write this in a mirror script, by the way, that explains how you can set up your PC and your device. Once you're done, you can use Visual Studio to program your IoT applications, for example, in C Sharp. To summarize, you can use these programming languages to program your Raspberry Pi. Happy coding! Let us know what you think of Lonica's tip and stay tuned.